Hi, so I have a master lock here, and for these three digit combinations, worst case, when you lose your combination or you don't know it, what you can do is try every combination. So what I have here is I have my combination set to 101, and I'm going to try all 100 combinations. Uh, so you could multiply that by 10 and you'll figure out how long it takes to actually try all 1,000 combinations. Now I could tell you right away that to try 3,000, uh, to try 300 combinations, it takes uh, 5 minutes. To try 600 combinations, it takes about 10 minutes. And to try all 1,000, it takes about 15 minutes. So let me go ahead and do that right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply pressure using both fingers so that if I find the right combination, it's just going to open up. So for example, I have this combination set to 101. And so when I do applying the pressure upward and down, uh, when I do 101, you'll notice it pops open. So you have to apply pressure constantly when you do this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with 000. So I'm going to lock my lock. And I'm going to try, I'm going to start with 000, and I'm going to do 001, 002, and uh, show you how long it actually takes. So I have a timer here in the background, and I am just going to start the timer. So you notice it is starting, and it's at 3 seconds ready, and I haven't even started yet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try 001, 002, 003, 004, 005. 006, 007, 8, 9, and back to 10. Now I'm going to try 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20 here. And I'm just going to keep on doing it. So, so now you, you get the method. And I'm going to have to constantly apply pressure. Now, what, one thing you might want to uh, do is for every 100, you might just want to rest. But if, if you lose your combination, so I'm at 29, I'm going to do 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 6, 7. And you keep on doing this until you basically reach, um, you know, 1,000. So it doesn't take as long as you think it would uh, normally take. It actually does take uh, just 15 minutes to try all 1,000. But then again, you don't have to do all 1,000 be because your com your lost combination might be the first 300 or the first 600, in which case it will only take you 5 to 10 minutes. So so I'm actually a little bit slower here because I'm doing the video, and, and I'm trying to actually keep things in focus, and I'm actually trying to talk at the same time, uh, which is actually a lot trickier than you think. Um, to, to actually shoot a video and, and talk at the same time is, um, you know, surprisingly, uh, for some people like me, it's actually a, a lot more difficult than, than you, it, it first appears. So, so I'm going to do 70 here, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75. So, so you notice I am simply just rotating through all of the combinations here. And once again, I'm, I'm actually at half the speed simply because I'm doing the video here. So, so now I'm already at 90, doing 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99. So when I reach 100, of course, now I shift to the third digit. And you'll notice now I open it. So, so that's 101. And you'll notice that actually took two minutes. So it took two minutes for me to do uh, 100 combinations. So because it took two minutes for me to do 100 combinations, you uh, multiply that basically by uh, 10, you know, for the 1,000 combinations, and basically uh, what you have is it'll take about 20 minutes, but, but that's only because I was doing the video. So that's how you would do it. Now, now keep in mind, that was when the lock is locked. Now, now, the thing with these locks is if you don't know the combination, so for example, I set it at 102 now, and the combination is 101. You can't even lock the lock. So if, if that was your situation, you would do the reverse. You, you would depress the pressure and make sure it locks, and then try the combinations. So for example, you'll notice once I do 101, it, it snaps in and it locks. So um, the, the way I would do that is I, I would actually depress it using my thumb like this. So you, you have the two situations where the lock is unlocked and you need the combination to lock it, or the lock is locked and you need the combination to unlock it. So, so that would be this situation, you need the combination to unlock it, 
or it is already locked and you don't know the combination and you need the combination to lock it. So, um, you know, basically that's all I wanted to mention is it takes um, roughly five minutes per 300 combinations to, to uh, do it brute force and try every co combination to unlock it. Um, but that's really all I wanted to mention, and I hope this helps. And, uh, you know, good luck with finding your lost combination, and please subscribe, and thank you for watching.